says, today, today God is looking at us. He's looking at each and every one of us. As he saw the children of Israel, and he saw the three men, Abednego, Shadrach, and Meshach, and Daniel, he saw, he looked at them, and he rejoiced with them when they were in the fire. There was a fourth man in the fire, and God was in that fire. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, we thank you. Thank you Lord. The tree of life is the tree of life is very. You know where the tree of life is today? The tree of life is in your in in your tongue. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The tree of life is your tongue. In Proverbs chapter 15, verse 4. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 4. If you read that, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The wholesome tongue is a tree of life. The word of God says. The soothing tongue, the wholesome tongue is a tree of life. But the perverse tongue crushes the spirit. The soothing tongue, the wholesome tongue is a tree of life. Where is the tree of life? You heard about this tree of life in the garden of Eden. When God told Adam and Eve to eat of the tree of life. But they did not eat the tree of life. But they rather ate the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. But they did not eat the tree of life. Can you believe that? Today the same tree of life is with us. What are we eating today? Are we eating of the tree of life? Are we, do we know, do we understand that? That Jesus, he is that, he is, he is the life in us. Are we eating of his fruits? Are we eating of him? Are we feasting in him? Are we connected with the vine? He is the vine and we are the branches. He is the tree of life. Is the mouth speaking of the goodness of the Lord? Are we, are, are we speaking the words that does, that, that does not glorify God in our lives? We need to understand, we need to see my brothers and sisters. It's a very close thing. It's, no, the, the way to the kingdom of God is very narrow, the word of God says. The way to the kingdom of God is very narrow. And very few are taking it. If you knew how if you knew how our lives are affected by the words that we speak, then we will be far more careful today. If you know how the words that we speak, how, effect, how effective and productive they are, we will be very careful about what we speak. We will think ten times before we speak a word. Because that very word that we speak is life. Because there is life in it. It can either, it can either bring death or it, it, it can bring life. The words have life. The words have the power to create death or create life. The words have life. The words have the power. The words that you speak has power. The words that you speak have power. Say, the words that I speak have power. The words that I speak has power. They either bring death or life. They either bring death or life. That's why in Proverbs 18.21 says, Death and life is in the power of your tongue. And those who love it will eat of its fruit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. The words that we speak have the power to either create death or to create life. Thank you, Jesus. So how the word of God says, be slow to speaking, be quick to listening. We speak words, we just simply keep carelessly, we speak words. So much so that we do not know that we are bringing a hindrance to our own blessings. 
We hinder our own blessings. We bring hindrance to our own blessings. That's why many of us are struggling in our lives. We do not see, though God has called us to see His goodness and His mercies every day. David says in Psalm 23, He says, Surely His goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your lives. If that is true, and it is true, it is real because God never fails. If that is true and God's goodness and mercy has to follow us all the days of our life, we have to see the goodness and mercies of God every day. Amen. There's no two way around with God and His word. God never fails, my brothers and sisters. His word will never fail. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. But what is condemning us, what is bringing us to, to nothing is because our own words that will pull us down, that will destroy our own future. Though God has plans for us, plans for our future and for our, for our, for our good and not to harm us, but we, have, we see harm, we see destruction, we see loss, we see failures. Why do we see all these things? Is God doing it? No, it's our doing. It's our doing. We bring it upon ourselves. We cause these things to come into our lives. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why St. Paul says, work out, work out on your salvation. Salvation has come to you. Every pro God has provided you in, in Christ every provision that you need in life. God has provided you in His Son, Jesus Christ. God has made his, he emptied his son. God emptied himself completely for us that we might have the fullness of him in our lives. Christ was emptied of everything. He emptied himself of his glory and he came down for us that he may, that he may take our place. He took our sin, our shame, our curse, our sickness, our poverty, our darkness, our death. Everything was taken for us. And he emptied, he gave himself for us. He gave his riches to us. He became poor that we might be rich. That every riches of Christ is in us today. Is dwelling in us, is living in us. We don't have to see it outside. We don't have to look for anyone to give us anything. Everything that you need in life is in you. Is in you. Is dwelling in you. Is Christ is in you, the hope of glory. All that we need to do is to speak it out. And say of the Lord, Lord, you are my riches. You are my everything. You are my blessing, Lord. You are all that I need. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A confession is all that is needed. Hallelujah. We confess ourselves uh, into every blessing. Hallelujah. We, we bring ourselves out of, every, out of every poverty by speaking the riches of God's blessings in our lives. Because he has made you rich. He has made you Whole in his son, Jesus Christ. He has given you his fullness. It says in Colossians 2, 9, he says that the fullness of God is, was, was, which was pleased to dwell in Christ. Now that fullness is in you, is dwelling in us. That fullness is of God. The fullness of his riches, of his goodness, of, his, of all the favors that you need in life. All that you need in life is provided. Hallelujah. Let us surrender our hearts to the Lord. Let us give ourselves to the Lord. And tell him, Lord, I need you in my life. I, I, I want to experience you in my life. Lord, help me to make the right confessions. That I may bear the fruits of redemption, the fruits of righteousness. Lord, I may bear witness to who, you, who I am in you, O oh God. I will, I, I, that, that's, that's what God wants you to understand, who, what we have in Christ. Who we are in Christ. What we have received. What is the inheritance that we have in Him. When we understand this understanding. That we have. We are rich in Him. We, are, we have the inheritance of God inside of us. When we confess this. Make this confession. That inheritance will start manifesting in your life. When you speak it. When you make this confession. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Because He has put His words in your mouth. Hallelujah. To speak it. Yeah. And declare it. Hallelujah. Every day. Declare that I am rich in Christ. I am blessed in Christ. I am anointed in Christ. 
The fullness of God is in me. Hallelujah. All that I need in life is in me. Hallelujah. So everything that I need in life uh, is being manifested in my life. Hallelujah. I see all my job is coming through. Hallelujah. My finance is coming through. Hallelujah. My business is coming through. Hallelujah. I shall lack for nothing because my God is my shepherd. Hallelujah. The rock of all ages is my rock. Uh, and he is my everything. Hallelujah. He shall supply all my needs uh, according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I will lack for nothing. Amen. Go stand before a mirror. Go stand before a mirror and look at yourself and declare that I am blessed. I am rich. I will never be the same anymore. Amen. I have God inside of me. Hallelujah. Amen. The fullness of God is in me. I shall do all things. I shall, I shall have all things that I need in life because Christ is in me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Make this confession. Come, be, come before him. Talk to him every day. Speak to, speak to him. Declare your words. Words of life. Let it flow from your mouth. And declare that you are in Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is how you make yourself known. And that you need to confess it even before people. Hallelujah. Say it. That I am blessed. Amen. Thank you Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The St. Paul says work out on your salvation. For it is... It is up to us to work out on our salvation and to can make the right confessions and declare the word of God in our, in, our, in our lives. And not to turn, not to change, and not to, not to flutter like a, a, a keep sh sh fluttering and changing and changing a confession. No, make a confession and let this, let this confession be the standing of your life. Hallelujah. That you'll, that you'll have the right standing before God and you'll walk before God. In holy and blameless in his sight. Hallelujah. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your grace.